Hey, Strikey old fans, not so here. Doing a little recreation of a mission I did last night with some buddies on a, uh, a night uh, low altitude GBU-10 strike on some uh, warehouses on the, on the docks uh, in Iran. Uh, and I'm doing this video as, uh, as kind of a penance for screwing it up last night. Uh, did everything up to uh, the designator turned correctly and then uh, completely uh, lost both of the bombs because uh, I flew the maneuver incorrectly. Uh, in the heat of the moment as I was getting shot at by AAA and whatnot, but still no excuse. So what I want to do is I want to show you the wrong way, I basically recreate what I did last night and show you the pitfalls of, of uh, turning incorrectly and then I'll go back and, and show you the correct way uh, and show you some ways to, to fix it if you start seeing uh, masking as you go. So the scenario is I've, uh, I'm on final approach doing the mapping leg, I've already taken the final map and uh, we'll go ahead and do our final designation. So let's go ahead and toggle over to target cursor mode. I'm going to designate on the northern warehouse of this uh, dock area in uh, Keshem Island. So there's my designation. All good to go. And I'll go ahead and take it off pause. So now we're going to go ahead and descend down to uh, 500 feet. And notice I've got uh, GBU 10s. So I've got Ripple 2 GBU 10s. Go ahead and uh, continue on this leg for just a little bit. Until we get to the uh, to the IP for the proper running. So again, while we have a few seconds, uh, I'll talk about what happened last night. So, doing a uh, a loft maneuver. Uh, loft is not completely impl implemented yet in the Strike Eagle module, uh, but you can get around it by uh, essentially doing a uh, pull up right, right at about four to five miles somewhere in that range. We'll do it about four and a half just to split the difference, and then uh, pull up uh, to about a thirty degree dive or loft angle. Uh, don't over pull it, and then if you get to 30 degrees, stop and hold it with the pickle button down. Uh, if you haven't already gotten to the bomb uh, release line, uh, if you stop at 30 degrees, it'll um, you'll actually fly through it and release the bombs. It's so not a true loft like it would be implemented, but it's close enough uh, to be able to get uh, get the um, effects of what we're trying to do. So I'll pop over to a twos. Final attack heading. I've got a bunch of S60s down in the area. Uh, that we're going to try to dodge some AAA. Notice I'm not on TFR. This would all be done on TFR if we really knight this low. So let's go ahead and get in the target pod. We'll take command of that, and we're starting to look for the um, uh, warehouse. So coming up, there's my pull. Master arms on. Again, I'm going to pull at about 4 Gs, but when I get to 30 degrees, I'll stop. And see, if I didn't, I would just stay below the bomb fall line. There's weapons away. And what I did last night is I overturned. So you want to turn about 45 to 50 degrees, I basically just kept going. Everything's looking good so far, so there's my target. And I got way too aggressive in the turn. Notice I'm starting to mask, and I don't have a lot of options here. I'm bunning, uh, bunning on, is the best on, way to do on, it. There's not on. really much I can do, and I almost no, hit the water on the, um, on the real thing. So you can see I didn't really have any, any out, uh, any way to fix that, because I overturned. Uh, I went way past the 45 to 50 degree line. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop this, and uh, I'll do the uh, the second part, and we'll do the whole thing uh, over again correctly. All right, guys, here's part two of the uh, laser guided bomb designator turn demo at night uh, from the previous uh, one I just did. Uh, so what we what we showed before was how not to do it, uh, and the big key takeaway there was way over aggressive pull, uh, I'm sorry, way over aggressive turn, uh, turn way beyond about 40 to 50 degrees, and I was very nose low, which meant that I'm gonna mask the pod very early and run out of options to be able to fix it. So now what we're gonna do is try to show you uh, the correct way to do it, if I can not screw it up. Uh, and the key, before I take this off pause, is, uh, is how you fly it. So, especially because it's at night, you wanna be a little bit more gentle about it, even though we're getting shot at by AAA, um, the key is, is not to mask the bomb so the wizard can do his thing. Uh, so what we're looking for is roughly about, uh, if you look at the, the heading tape, we're about a, roughly about a 020. So you want to probably turn no more than about 30 to 40 degrees, 50 definitely at the most uh, in the turn. Um, and then uh, the other thing you want to do is you want to get the nose down relatively gently, somewhere in the 5 to 10 degrees nose low at the most. Uh, diving back down at the ground, getting back to low altitude. Because the sooner you get down low, 
the sooner you're going to mask the pot and, and again run out of options to fix it. So the way you do, do the maneuver is, like we talked about before, is roughly about five and a half to four and a half miles. Uh, you want to start pulling up three and a half to four G pull. And because loft is not implemented, we don't have the, the loft cue to follow. So you're going to have to do it kind of on your own. And then when you get to about 30 degrees, you want to you want to freeze that picture if you have not gotten to the release cue yet. If the release cue is still coming down to you and you're still pulling up below 30, continue to pull and you'll hopefully the bombs will come off uh, okay. If not, freeze that that climb angle at 30, and then you basically you'll fly into and through the the release uh, cue, and then the bombs will come off correctly. That's not how we do a normal loft. You normally keep G on the jet the whole time. This is a DCS workaround because we don't have the loft. Uh, symbology implemented yet and hopefully that'll come in uh, in the next couple patches or so remember this is this is kind of a workaround just so you guys can go out and have fun at night doing uh, uh, kind of pseudo loft stuff all right so without further ado we'll go ahead and, and get the show on the road so right at five and a half miles so I'll start pulling it about five to no later than four and a half miles pull up 30 degrees I'm on the pickle button pretty much from immediately when I pull and then you're going to see an aggressive nose down slice, 120 degree slice, to roll out roughly at about 050 on the uh, on the heading. That's my 30 degrees off, probably no more than about 070 uh, at the most. So let's go ahead and get this rolling. Okay, so here we go. Airspeed's looking good. On the pickle button, coming up, master arm's hot. And there's my 3.5 to 4G pull. Pulling, pulling, pulling. Now I'm going to freeze it at 30. I'm gonna let that release cue come down to me because if I kept pulling it, it would go away. There's my release. Little over turn there, like I didn't want to do, rolling out at 050. Fairly shallow dive angle, pulling the nose back up. And now once I set the dive angle, now I can get into the target pod and start uh, looking to uh, get my uh, cursor on, refine that sort of thing. Got AAA tracers coming up. There's my 10 seconds to impact, lasers on. And again, I want to go a little bit of like right wing down just to keep the masking from happening. And I can bunt a little bit. So there's my bunt right there. And I got it just in time. Let's go ahead and turn, turn us off uh, pause. Let me go ahead and uh, pause that. And uh, so you saw that that masking came up right there at the very end. And because I was able to bunt uh, and I also rolled right wing up, I was able to just save it at the very end. The reason I got that masking when I did, and again, I didn't do the maneuver as well as I could have, but I'm trying to fly and talk at the same time, is because I, I way over pulled back down and got nose low quickly, and I shallowed it out. If I'd have been a little bit less aggressive uh, with that slice, I ended up being almost 180 degrees upside down. Uh, you definitely don't want to do that. And then if I'd have had a little bit shallower uh, dive in the beginning, uh, I would probably have never gotten to that masking issue in the first place. But you saw... I, I sort of did it on purpose, but I didn't really. I, I wanted you to see the masking so you can see what that looked like and how to solve it. So again, first thing you want to do is bunt and then get the right wing down. Essentially what you're trying to do is, is present your belly to the target, and that'll give your, your pod the best chance to be able to see it. Okay, so one more time, we're going to now do the final run, and hopefully we put everything together and we, we shack it uh, with no drama. So the, the middle one was kind of... It worked, but it wasn't ideal, and I, I did that somewhat deliberately to show you uh, where you can get into trouble, and then hopefully we can get this one uh, shacked right. All right, so Master Arms on. We're at our airspeed, lasers set, and arm 1688, ready to come up on the pull at about five miles. So we're running. And here comes the pull on the pickle button. Three and a half to four G turn, trying to stay do our best stay on the ASL. Pulling up, freezing at 30, bombs coming off, doing a nice nose down slice, coming to my 050 roll in. There's about seven, six to nine degrees nose down. Now I can zoom in, I can get an area track. And again, notice I'm not getting in the pot until I'm wings level pretty much rolled out on my heading. Triple A tracers, hopefully they're not seeing us. There's laser on. Gonna roll a bit of wings up. There's eight seconds. Nice shallow dive angle. Bunning again. Here we go. And shack. And again, that's the big key. That's the big key is when you bunt, make sure you pay attention to the ground because if you get 
overly enamored with the target pod, uh, you can easily run into the ground. So uh, something to think about. Coming off target, I'm going to go into, uh, into auto guns. I'm going to sanitize in my turn. So there's my good egress uh, radar mech uh, searching for threats coming off target. And uh, trying to run back out on our safe direction uh, as we go. And then once I've got a good sanitization, bumping out to SRM, 20 mile scope, letting that run for a few frames, and then out to 80 miles. Obviously, it would take a little bit longer to do the sanitization, but just for purposes of this. All right, so that's it. That's uh, designator turn, uh, the good, bad, and the ugly. And uh, hopefully that will help you guys in the future uh, getting the stuff right at night. Again, way easier with a, uh, with a multi crew because, again, the pilot can just focus on flying. Wizzo can focus on uh, getting the crosshairs on the target, but the Wizzo really owns this. So if you see masking coming up, start screaming, hey, masking or be directed bunt or roll, wing, roll right wing down, something like that, just to get the pilot to, to fly it correctly. Uh, so it's a, it's a crew concept, and if you guys work together, it'll work uh, super well. All right, that's it. Not so's out, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll do some more soon. See you, bye.